Hey everyone, this is Ellie Mae with Swift Creek Customs and today I have a new feature that is currently released in the Caesar Leonardo Design Studio beta version that is 1.1.7. Now let's go out to the Caesar website and let's make this full screen. Under Cutters Leonardo Design Studio, you will come down on the page and click on Design Studio, and then you're going to see Current Version, and then you're going to see Beta Versions. And if you click on this little question mark here, Beta Version means it's a test version. So there still may be unknowns that pop up in it, but if you are willing to test and troubleshoot and you wanna give it a go, you can definitely do that by downloading it here. So I wanna show you a neat feature. Here are also the release notes. And the ability to release cut contours so that they can be edited. So I'm gonna share with you how you can do that. So if you come up here to file open, you're going to open the file you want to create the cut lines on. I'm going to be working with some stickers. Now my stickers are all individual files. So if I move my mouse over them, they are individual PNG files. If you have your file is all of the designs on one sheet, no problem, you can open that up as well. I'm going to be opening all of these up onto my page. So click on one. I want to make sure it's coming in at 300 DPI and I'm going to choose print and cut. I'm going to click next, 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 finished. So here is my first image. I'm just going to quickly resize that. I am then going to come up here to my artboard. I'm using a full page, so I'm going to choose page marks and that moves my marks out on my page. Then I'm going to simply open the rest of them using the same method. So I will go through that real quick here. Resize as needed or as you desire. File open, next, next. Most times I try the tray, I'll just the a default trace for most files to see how it's going to trace before I change anything. And let's just choose this last one of Hello Summer, next, next. And once I have all my images on my page and they are showing completely, I am simply going to, if I were to look at this file right now, it does have cut lines. It currently has one cut line around each sticker. So if I go to the Send tab, it is set up for my print. That goes to my printer and it's set up to cut contours. But what if I want to do a kiss cut around the sticker and then I wanna do a die cut or a full cut completely around it? You can do that easily now. So I'm gonna come back to the design tab. I'm going to select everything and I'm going to open my properties panel on the right side. And I wanna make sure that my current cut lines are set to cut tool. So these are going to be my kiss cut lines. So I want to make sure those lines are set to kiss cut. And then I'm going to come up to edit in the top left. I'm going to choose release cut contours. And yes, I have also asked for this to be in a right click menu. So that has been noted. Release contours. Now this means that those contours are released from my image. If I were to, I could then move my cut line away from my image. I don't wanna do that, so I'm going to Control Z, but I wanted to show that to you. So I'm going to go back. I'm going, again, I chose Edit, Release Contours. Those lines turn blue. It is still a cut tool, which is my kiss cut. Come down here to Build Contours, and it's going to ask me what I wanna do. So I want a cut only line. So I'm going to choose editable cut. I'm going to offset it and you can choose your offset amount. So I'm going to exaggerate it here so you can see it. And then since I have multiple objects selected, the next screen that you're going to see after I click apply, you're going to see it show up in front. That is not a problem. I need to come over here anyhow and choose default. I need to select full cut. So this is going to be my cut through my die cut. And when I do that, the black disappears and it's behind. But if you wanted to actually move it behind, 
open the layers panel. Here is the black shape for those cut lines. I can simply move that down all the way under everything. It's not necessary because it shows my image now, but it's now behind. So if I go to the Send tab, I'm going to click Send. And then you can see here, here is my print page. Here are my cut lines. So now I have those cut lines that I can send to cut. So the first thing I have to do is I have to click back on my print and I'm going to send this to my printer. So I'm gonna click Send to Printer. And this weird Windows 11 thing pops up. I need to choose Rear Tray because I'm using sticker paper through my rear tray and click OK and then click Print. And I wait for my printer to start. I'll grab that from my printer now. So now I have my printed page. I'm going to click on Cut Contours, and then I need to make sure that my lines are set up properly. So currently the full cut, I am using a 30, which is this outer border. So it's the outer, it's going to cut through. My force is 30. You will need to test cut for your sticker paper. If I come up here to Cutting Tool, that is the inside blue line and I'm using a kiss cut of a force of seven. So now let's switch over to the Juliet and get her ready to go. Okay, now that I have my sheet, I'm going to place it in the bottom left corner of my cutting mat. Secure that down. I'm going to load this into my Juliet. Flip my load lever down. And then I'm going to position my housing in this bottom left registration mark. And then I'm gonna send it to Juliet. Once I have it loaded in the machine, I'm simply going to send to cutter, I'm going to click yes, and Juliet is going to get started. Now watch your machine as it works. You wanna watch your camera especially if you're having issues. You want that red crosshair in the corner of each of those registration marks. If it's not finding that for some reason, then something is wrong. Start troubleshooting. I will have a troubleshooting video coming out for print and cut here soon. It is now doing the kiss cut around each of the designs. And now it's doing the die cut around each of those designs. You do want the kiss cut to perform typically before you do your die cut so that your paper is held in place securely and does not move during the entire process, especially if you're not using a very sticky mat. So there it is. Click the X when you're done. Unload your cutting mat and check it out. That is awesome. So normally I would flip my mat over, peel my material, my mat away from my material, but I'm going to show you here on the camera. Again, test cut, test cut, test cut. Make sure those settings are correct for your sticker paper. See, look at that. So it cut die cut and kiss cut. Awesome. I got one more thing to show you in the software. So let's jump back in there. Okay, now that we're back in the software, I want to show you one more thing that you are able to do with these um, cut contours that you can release from that cut line. I'm going to come back here to the design, and I'm just going to zoom in on one of these. And now is a great time to get familiar with your layers panel so you can know exactly which cut contour you are working with. So if I come in here and I select my select tool, currently this inside line 
is the one that is selected. And I could, I could rename this if I come in here, double click on it and say Aloha. Whoop, yep, I spelled that right. That is the one that is selected. So if I double click on that, look at those edit points. So I can come in and I could delete some of those if I wanted to, I could change them. I could even, if I wanted to, move those around a little bit. I'm not sure why I want to, but this gives you an idea on your design. If you want to adjust those edit points, which are found right here, edit curves, then you can now because you now have a cut contour line that is separate from your printed image. Again, that is found under edit and release cut contours. I have requested that it become a right click menu option because, let me select here, because I am a right click person. So Caesar listens, we'll see, but it won't be in this beta version. And one more tip for you. If you notice, my cut contours, the outer edge, is now all as one object. So here's the one object. I'm going to undo that. I'm going to zoom in here so you can see this a little bit. What if I want it to be separate? I'm going to click on that outer contour line. So you can see here I have this black selected. I'm going to come up to edit ungroup paths and then if I click off and I click back on one I now have separate paths for each of those if I come down here into my layers panel you can see I now have four of those separate black shapes so you can ungroup that you can also edit that so loving all these updates that Caesar is putting out make sure to like subscribe click that bell for notifications and stay tuned on the Swift Creek Customs YouTube channel for more coming at you. Thanks for joining me. Have a great day.